Okay, so basically, the Giants lost again yesterday. They lost to the Padres 6-5. to They're on a five-game losing streak. Their record is now 61-66. and Can we just ask why the Giants can't figure it out when they absolutely need to? I mean, when they're just needing to win games now of all times is the time when they just cannot figure this out. And it's bad. And if we miss the playoffs this year, all I can say is that I want them to change like quite a few things in the offseason. Not to play with anything close to the current roster. I want the front office to get pretty serious in the offseason about changing some things up for next year if we miss the playoffs this year. And that does not mean rebuilding. I hope I'm not going to have to listen to or read anything that is going to tell me that 2023 is likely to be a rebuild year for the Giants because I am done with that for quite a while. I believe they've had their time to rebuild and they use their scouting strategy, which is to offer under slot money to their top prospects so that they would pay, be able to pay, excuse me, top draft picks. They don't always turn out the same way so that they would be able to pay over slot money to some picks that come later in the draft and that the what works out for them is that they can get a little bit more evenly balanced talent i mean it's not evenly balanced but they can get that they have more of a depth of of good actually good prospects at least that's the way it's supposed to work out the trade-off may be that are the very best the very best we got to see that i i don't know Marco Luciano and Kyle Harrison are expected to make a big impact. All the same. I don't want to hear that the Giants are rebuilding in 2023 because it's time for them to have reached the, the contending era after a 107 win season in 2021. So that, that's what it is. If the Giants miss the playoffs this year, then I hope the front office is going to take that to take a failed season that just should have been a playoff run for this team. I hope they're going to take it and look at that as a serious sign that they need to do things and change some certain things up like pretty fast. I just hope that's the case. But today, Carlos Rodon was not good, and that's a problem. When either Carlos Rodon or Logan Webb is not good, and we have also seen some pretty bad starts from Logan Webb, that is not a good thing because you're counting on your team to win a game when either of them is pitching. That's just the way it is right now. Carlos Rodon gave up six runs today, and that's just, might be the only bad start in a while, might just be an outlier here, but it came at a bad time, and that's all I can say. The Giants almost came back. Jock Peterson hit a two-run homer in the fourth inning. Then in the eighth, Austin Slater had a two-run single. J.D. Davis drove in another run with a single score total of three runs in the eighth inning, but that was as far as the rally got, and so the Giants almost came back, made a pretty good effort, but they couldn't quite come back, and the point is they lost the game, and they lost the game by one run. Funny, I was reading something yesterday about one-run teams. Do the best teams win one-run games? And I believe the answer to that is yes, because otherwise, what can you say about... No, it isn't luck how a team's going to perform in the late innings when it's tied, how their bullpen's going to perform, whether they can do it in high-pressure situations or not. I'm not going to say anything like that as luck, although this is just a little bit different because the, it was the Giants like coming back from big deficit, and they, they almost succeeded in doing it, but they, they just didn't quite do it. So we're not going to say the offense was bad this game because they did do some things, but it's... Whatever goes wrong, if something goes wrong for the Giants at, at whatever time, then that's the thing that went wrong, and that's the thing that lost the game. And today, it was completely that Carlos Rodon wasn't good. And Harleen Garcia pitched three innings for the Giants today. It's not something he often does. He's normally used as a short reliever, so it's interesting to see him pitch three scoreless innings for the Giants to eat up some of that work in the bullpen. It, it's it's just interesting when either he or Zach Littell does a thing like that, pitches more innings than a normal relief pitcher 
will usually throw. So, bad game. It, it's 61 and 66 now. That's going to be really tough to make up the difference and to get their record tied again so they can have an opportunity to go ahead. That, that opportunity of even going ahead in their record is lost for a long time. And so basically, if the Giants miss the playoffs, I hope that the front office is going to say, hey, look, that's not okay. We need to make some big changes. And if it's going to cost money, it just is that this team needs to be changed up a bit. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you have not. Also, please either comment or email me at gabrielvaughn89 at gmail.com. Thank you. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.